Hi, Divinians! It's been a long time since we last saw each other. Oh, by the way, I'm Teacher Janine Talon from Grade School Department and I will be the Grade 1 Class Advisor. Before we formally start our lesson for this week, let us have first our prayer. Let us remember Jesus in our hearts and in our midst as we pray in the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty Father, we praise and thank you for this day. Watch over us as we do our work and studies. Help us in every way so that we may become the children you want us to be. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. To start our lesson, let me give you some hints and cues on what you are going to learn in math subject this school year. The objective of math subject is to help you understand and appreciate the key concepts and skills involving numbers and number sense. Through critical thinking, problem solving, reasoning, communicating, making connections, representations, and decisions in real life. You won't notice it, but in your entire life, you will be dealing with situations that involve numbers. If you join with your parents to buy goods in the market, when your parents pay bills like the electric, water, internet bills, and so on, if your parents open a savings account in the bank, when they start a business, receiving or sending money. Before you understand all these things, you should have knowledge about the numbers. It may seem that in this time at your age, it is not a big problem. But as you grow older and older, it might become a problem. So, it is your responsibility to know first the basic. But, what is the basic? So, the basic in math is the counting. First, you should know how to count numbers. Here is the table of numbers 0 to 100. Let's count each number. Kindly repeat after me. 0 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 
69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Now, let's count more. First, let's have this set of cell phones. How many cell phones do we have? We have 10 cell phones. One more of the 10 cell phones is 11. While, one less of the 10 cell phones is 9. When you say one more, you will add one from the given number. While, in one less, you will take away one from the given. Second, let's have this set of pencils. How many pencils do we have? We have 20 pencils. One more of these 20 pencils is 21. While one less of these 20 pencils is 19. And for our third, and which will be the last set of objects, are these crayons. Let's count the number of crayons we have. We have 70 crayons. One more of these 70 crayons is 71. While one less of these 70 crayons is 69. As we did, the numbers we count became bigger when there are more objects that put together. Do not be scared when you see that there are a lot of objects to count. Just follow the sequence of numbers 0 to 100 like what you see in this table. For further information and for independent study, you may log in and use our platform Schoology. Welcome to this Schoology Divinians. Cheers to the maroon and white!